is next. Welcome to Red Eye. It's like Glee, but with better music. Let's go to TV's Andy Levy for a pregame report. So, Andy, what's coming up on tonight's show? Thanks, Greg, and happy belated birthday, America. Our top story tonight, Casey Anthony is found not guilty of killing her daughter, Kaylee. Our panel of non-experts will yell at the jury next. Plus, Iceland debates a law that would make it illegal to buy cigarettes without a doctor's prescription. The shocking story that will give you Nick fits. And finally, we'll have full team coverage of the drunk puppy buying epidemic that's raging through Manhattan. I'm sorry, I'm not being told we will not have full team coverage of this story. It'll just be the usual panel talking about it. Greg? Thank you, Andy. Happy birthday to Huey Lewis, Greg. Ah, uh, well, you could say that means news to me, Andy. Yeah, I'm just glad the heart of rock and roll is still beating, Greg. Well, they truly made the night move. That's the power of love. Don't do me like that, Andy. Uh, I guess I'm stuck with you, Greg. Love the one you're with, then. You make me sick, Greg. Who sings that? Nobody. Mm, <laughs> I guess my point is made, then. Go, Go away, away, strange man. Let's welcome our guest. She's the va-va-voom of the courtroom. I'm here tonight with criminal defense attorney Remy Spencer. What a delight. And he's hilarious, smart, and handsome, but enough about Dane Cook. Here's Jesse Joyce, writer and comedian. Glad you dressed up. His latest comedy <laughs> CD is called Pro Joyce. It's a great CD, by the way. Well, he spent the fourth drinking a fifth. It's my repulsive sidekick, Bill Schultz. And she's so sharp, she gives paper a Judith Miller cut. Sitting right next to me is a first-time guest. She's Fox News contributor Judith Mil Miller. I think she's our first Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist here. And she's a columnist and an author. And he's losing his hair and his earnings per share. It's our New York Times correspondent. Good to see you again, Pinch. Uh, hello, Judith. <laughs> this is very awkward. Anyway, on to the spiel. On this date in 1946, designer Louis Friard unveils the French bikini at a popular swimming pool in Paris. Shortly thereafter, Times columnist Marine Dowd adopts it as her du rigueur summertime beachwear. Even back then, she was referred to as the ageless applehead by her contemporaries. <laughs> that is not true. That one was for you, Miller. <laughs> It was a peace offering, Greg. Oh, how sweet of you. The newsroom misses her. She is laughing politely. Yes. All right. Well, 